All right, guys. Uh, our next step of uh, the RGH Cool Runner Revision C Jasper tutorial to make it uh, officially complete. Uh, I'm going to reflash the drive with an LT 3.0. This is um, a light on. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a light on 80. Eighty-three, eighty-five, zero. See, so, so that's that's the light on. Okay, light on right there. All right. So, here's a few things that you have to get. You need a USB Pro, which I got to connect it to my computer. It's right there. Uh, also, with a SATA cable, connect it to the back of the drive. Right there. And you have uh, CK3 down here, ready. Uh, all right, powered up already. Okay, let's get started. What I like to do is I like to inject the drive all the time for this kind of stuff. I like to inject, inject it. You're going to shut the power off on the CK3. Come back here, close this about halfway. Turn your CK3, CK3 back on. Okay. Is uh, the Pro 3 team executor with the cable and the switch. You have to get. Right here is a little power switch that turns it on and off. Uh, controls the, the blinking light and power into uh, when you want to read the key. All right, let's go to the Jungle Flasher. All right, Jungle Flasher. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's see. All right, my drive is right here. As you can see, if you don't have anything here, Refresh it and it should say right here light on Drive is a light on so what you got to do now You're gonna click fat key But I'm gonna take it away. You're not gonna see me click it because I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here Fat key all right, there's three points right in here. Actually, four. You got to get the one. That's better. You're going to have to get this one here. Okay? Just make sure you don't touch anything else. Because you can ruin the board or or you can ruin the probe. And also at the same time, you're gonna have to it's gonna be kinda little. Alright, you're gonna have to do that, but before that, when you press fat and key, I mean trying to do this, I don't know if it's gonna be able to do it. I'm going to click fat key. You're going to press it. This comes up. All right. After this comes up, you got to press yes. Okay. So is the MPX01. That's what they tell you to put that pro. So I'm going to bring you back.
All right, guys, here it is, good view. So I'm going to press that button, yes. All right, you're going to wait a few dots to come show up on the bottom. You're going to click, press and hold, and push that little button on the hold. All right, so what I did is I'm going to back it up. You press and push. This has a little lever that goes in and out. You push it till it goes all the way down. And that point, and then you're going to push this too at the same time. After you push that, after you push this into the point, you're going to click on this and release it. And then this, big, this uh, window came up. It says, read it. I got to turn off the power on my CK. So I'm going to turn the power off on my CK. Turn the power off. And you click OK in that little box. And then you, you wait five seconds. Turn it back on. Okay, there you go. There's your key. And the key came right back on. There's the key right there, guys. That's the original key. Light on. So now it's the dummy dummy uh, file. It's funny because right now they don't... Um, Alright, I'm going to send it to I'm actually going to create a folder no delete that yes create a folder on my desktop uh... it'll be rgh uh... you know what? I'll name it later It'll be a new folder, so I just press open and save. So now this comes up with Jungle Flasher. Um, do you want to load source buffer? Lo you know, you say LT plus, you say yes, it automatically loads up. Um, LT 3.0 is the keys, it's already spoofed automatically. So now you go back. The DVD key and you see that okay so now everything is here now all right now I'm gonna M MTK flash 32 all right nothing's here you gotta click on light on erase are you sure you're hundred percent yes click yes now it tells you again drives a return to status of zeros times 72 click yes all right when that happens these points here, you gotta turn off your CK3 real quick and turn it back on. Shut it off and turn it back on. See now it gave me status 72. Alright? When you see the first dots come up, let it go about five, maybe ten dots. Turn off your CK3. On and off real quick. And then you got your key. So now what you gotta do is click on right. So now it's writing all the banks right into my drive. Is um, blinking, getting it in there. So now it's verifying it now. It's okay, it's done. All right, it says right there. Rent files. R writing verification. Verified okay. So what you gotta do now click outro and you're done. Um there you go. Is the key? Is my DVD key? Everything is good. Now what to do now is your outro. Now my I'm gonna push my CK and it's gonna close, it's gonna open up and close my drive automatically. So now my drive is not on vendor mode. 
when you outro it. See? All right. So, all right. Here's one thing that I have to show you guys. On the new people that are not familiar with this, Jungle Flasher. All right. When you open up Jungle Flasher, um, yes, save. Give me all the info. When you open up Jungle Flasher, all right. Now, all the firmware. Okay, you got to stick it in here. I have all the firmware in here. But when you download it, this is not in here. Okay, this will never be here. So, it's not here. If you don't know, so what you got to do is, um, I found, you got to go Team Executor. And is your latest iExtreme firmwares? What you do is copy and paste all of these. You copy and paste all of these firmwares and bring it in and drop it into this firmware folder. All right. Uh, and then you, once you're done, you're all set. Oh, make sure to um, libusb 0dll It's not in here when you first open it up. You got to get it and drag it into here into where jungle flesh is if you don't drag that into here this will never open up like that it'll never work so all right guys um don't forget to subscribe and uh comment on it and have a good one